Hi, my name is Simon Hater, and we're going to be looking at making a quick animation in uh, Photoshop CS6. Um, I've loaded up uh, a project here I've got going. As you can see, I've got lots of shapes. Uh, I've got a button um, with the text here. Um, all we're going to do is make a simple animation and make the arrows uh, move in towards uh, the here button. So it's kind of a uh, an animation which says you know look here and press the button so uh, but it doesn't really matter about that too much the idea is just to give you an idea how easy it is to animate stuff in CS6 so the first thing we need to do is basically you need to go window uh, ensure that you've got timeline uh, ticked and basically you'll see a timeline down here so the first thing what we want to do is click a new frame um, and this is going to be where we start to move objects uh, so let me click this arrow which is the bottom right one I should have labeled them let me do that quickly uh, bottom right top right bottom left and top right so there we go so what I want to do now is move these in so uh, the way I like to do it is hold down shift and just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So all I did there is count, uh, hold down shift, push 7 times left and then hold shift again and push 7 times up. That way I know uh, each of the arrows are going to be exactly the same as uh, each other arrow. So I'll do exactly the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I won't bother calling it out this time. Okay, that looks round about right, that will do. So what we need to do now is uh, highlight both the frames, uh, either click frame 2 and hold shift or hold down control, have both frames lit up. Then what we want to do is click this one here. We could basically say to Photoshop, these arrows have moved from this position to this position, but we want uh, Adobe Photoshop to incorporate additional frames, so it's like an animation. So if I click here, uh, I'm going to say, I don't want it too fast, so I'm going to say 30 frames. So let's play that. As you can see down here, it's actually incorporated lots of frames. And if I click frame 22, you can see, I'll play it the right way. So if number 1 to 7, you can see it's moving in. So if I push play, now the problem is, is there's a snapback. You can see as soon as it gets to the point, it snaps back. We want a const. Uh, we want a constant loop. So I go to this frame here. I then click new frame. I then want to move all these uh, all the way back to what we had before. So top right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get the idea. Do the bottom right. Top right. So now now what we need to do, instead of highlighting frame 1 and 2, we need to do the last frame and the one before it. So in this case, 32 and 33. Click this little tool down here again. Let's add 30 frames, so it's fluid. So what I do now is let's see what it, what it does. So as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Well, I could have made it a bit faster. 20 frames would probably would have been more ideal. Uh, but let's stop that. Now the next thing to do, save for web. Now I've done, uh, as you can see, it doesn't look that great. That's because so, only four colours are selected. Let's click 256. Um, these settings is what I've used before. Um, I'm, I'm good to go on that. I'm, I like these settings. I've used it for quite a few projects. Um, don't 
don't need transparency because I've got the white. Um, as you can see, down here is my estimated uh, size. That is rather big. I'm actually going to try and... I don't know why transparency takes that much away from the actual size. Um, but anyway, 106.7. I'm going to save that. Save it in here. Go to my folder down here and let's take a look. And as you can see, that is how you make an animated GIF. I hope you find the tutorial helpful and I'll see you soon.